हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू विज्ञान घर टुडे वी प्रेजेंट द लेक्चर ऑन एनिमल किंगडम क्लासिफिकेशन फॉर द प्रिपरेशन ऑफ सी यू टी पी जी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर एंड द सब्जेक्ट इज जूलॉजी सो अवर फर्स्ट बेसिस ऑफ डिस्कशन इज स्कीम ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन की हाउ द ऑर्गेनिज्म इज अरेज हाउ इट इज फॉर्म एन ऑर्गेनिज्म फर्स्ट लेवल इज योर टिश्यू लेवल टिश्यू लेवल मीन्स हमारी बॉडी में वी हैव एपिथीलियल टिश्यू मस्कुलर टिश्यू कनेक्टिव टिश्यू सो ऑल द सेल्स एग्रीगेट टू फॉर्म अ टिश्यू इट इज अ मास ऑफ सेल्स ओके देन टिश्यूज कंपाइल अप टू फॉर्म ऑर्गन ऑर्गन लाइक वी हैव स्टमक स्टमक हैव एपिथीलियल टिश्यू कनेक्टिव टिश्यू मस्कुलर टिश्यू दीज ऑर्गन देन फॉर्म द ऑर्गन सिस्टम हमारे अंदर डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम रेस्पिरेटरी सिस्टम एक्सक्रीटरी सिस्टम and various other types of systems are present and it is not necessary that every organ have every organ system for example in our next slides we will see there is no excretory organ in some uh, your classification then organ system various organ systems compile or combines up to form a full organism okay so the first level is tissue level and then last by the tissue then organ then organ system forms the organism now our second level is level of organization so first is cellular level which is found in most of the protozoans like sponges so these sponges show division of labor it means they have only cells in their body no tissue no organ or organ systems are present so these cells show division of labor and these are independent of each other they can exchange their forms and function then the next is our tissue level tissue level is present in ciliates like hydra their body is multicellular and their body have two distinct layers or tissues of specialized cells after the tissue level there is organ system level that is present in many animals so their body is also multicellular with many organs and organ system okay next we have to discuss is our body plan basically there are three types of body plan cell aggregate body plan blind sac body plan and tube within tube body plan first is cell aggregate body plan to ye jo sponges mein paya jata hai sponges in this organisms what happen is there is aggregation of cells present hota hai no tissue or no organ system is found okay uh, there is only one cavity after that blind sac body plan it is present in cylindrates and platforms here what happens is unki body ek sac like hoti hai there is only one aperture ek simple aperture hota hai mouth that is jisse ingestion bhi hota hai cheezo ka and excretion bhi hota hai so this is a blind sac body plan after that tube within tube body plan jo other animal groups mein present hota hai usme kya hota hai there is particular or Gun for the particular function, for example, mouth से उन्होंने injection किया, then gut में पूरा process होगा, ठीक है, of digestion and then anus से excretion हो जाएगा. तो there is an epithelial layer जो कि उसको मतलब पूरी एक layer होती है जो कि outer environment से protect करके रखती है, ठीक है. So this is tube within tube body plan. Tube within tube is then further divided into two types that we will discuss in our next slide. so the tube within tube body plan is divided into two types first one is your protostomus and the second one is deuterostomus so let us discuss one by one in case of protostomus we see the basic body plan we know when fertilization occur there is the process of cleavage and gastrulation so in case of protostomus case after the cleavage and the gastrulation stage in the gastrulation stage we know there is a blastopore and the cavity archenteron the main difference is in the two are that in case of protostomus the blastopore lead to the formation of mouth okay and opposite to this mouth there is formation of anus okay so the two points are cleared after that it is present in known chordates like flat worms round worms annelids mollusks and arthropods and in this case the cleavage is spiral and determinate determinate means we know that this part will form this particular organ only after that second is your deuterostomus deuterostomus is the opposite of the first one the cleavage is radial cleavage 
and the blastopore will form the anus okay anus at its opposite end we have mouth and it is present in echinoderms hemichordates chordates here the cleavage is radial and indeterminate cleavage the next basis we will talk about is our body symmetry so what is body symmetry it is arrangement of parts on opposite sides of the body that how the parts are arranged and that it can divide into two parts or not okay so it has two types the asymmetrical and symmetrical one in case of asymmetrical what we see is the body cannot be divided into two equal parts for example here we see in a diagram this is a diagram of a sponge which has no symmetry means if we divide from this plane or this plane the body cannot be divided into equal parts so sponges have asymmetrical body symmetry after that we have symmetrical in symmetrical body is divided into equal parts by one or more planes okay on the basis it is divided into two parts bilateral and the radial so what is bilateral in bilateral the body is divided into two equal parts by only one plane see in the diagram here this is a diagram of beetle showing bilateral symmetry here there is only one plane by which the body is divided into two equal halves it is present in vertebrates and most of the invertebrates second is radial symmetry here we have different planes in case of coral polyps the diagram which is shown here we have 1 2 3 4 many planes and in every plane the body is divided into equal halves the example is in case of hydra starfish and jellyfish okay the next we talk is about germ layers okay when there is a multicellular organisms it begin its life as a single cell zygote okay this zygote then divide into many times and it forms the two or three germ layers it depends in different different organisms that the layer is two or three and on this basis we form diploblastic and triploblastic animal diploblastic diplo di means two okay it means it have two layer the outer ectoderm okay and the endoderm see in the diagram this is diploblastic only two layers the ectoderm and the endoderm example here is polyphera and snidaria okay however the second one that is triploblastic the word tri means three it means it have three layer the outer ectoderm the middle mesoderm and the inner endoderm okay here see this is ectoderm endoderm and mesoderm the three layers are present example here is platyhelminthes so now we have body cavity in case of body cavity we have three types acylomate pseudocylomate and the third one is coelomate so in case of acylomate there is no body cavity a means no no body cavity is present example polyphera snidaria and platyhelminthes uh here we can see the diagram that is third one here there is no body cavities present after that in case of pseudocylomate false cavity is lined by patches of mesodermal cell see here the patches of mesodermal cell cell pre are present example sk helminthes third one is coelomate in coelomate true body cavity is present it is present in triploblastic organisms and this cavity is filled with coelomic fluid now see the coelomate is further divided into two types schizocelous and enterocelous schizocelous mein kya hota hai yahan par jo cavity banti hai wo mesoderm ke pouches se banti hai hame pata hai teen layer hoti hai ectoderm endoderm and mesoderm to jahan yahan is case mein kya hota hai jo mesoderm hai wo pouches mein split ho jati hai जो कि सिलोम बनाती है तो हमारा शायोसिलस का एग्जाम्पल क्या होता है एनालिडा एंड आर्थ्रोपोडा और आर्थ्रोपोड्स और मलस्क में क्या होता है सिलोम रिड्यूस हो जाती है हीमोसील में और हायर कॉर्डेट्स में शायोसिलस ही प्रेजेंट होती है इन केस ऑफ एंटीरोसिलस अगर आप देख रहे हो तो यहाँ पर ये बनती है किससे गट पाउचेज और आर्कट्रॉन के फ्यूजन से बनती है और ये किस में प्रेजेंट होता है एकाइनोडर्मेटा एंड कॉर्डेटा में 
Now let us talk about the appendages. We all know what are appendages. These are the structures which help in the movement, locomotion and feeding of the organism. So different organisms have different appendages. In case of cylindrates, we have tentacles around mouth. Okay. In annelids, we have parapodia for their movement, for locomotion. Okay. In mollusks, we have muscular feet. In arthropods, we have antenna and legs. Different number of antenna and legs are present in different different arthropods. In echinodermata, this function is performed by the help of tube feet. In fishes, we have fins and limbs and wings are present in case of tetrapoda. Here also the number varies. Okay, now let us move on to the next slide. We have circulatory system. Circulatory system is also of two types, closed one and open one. Closed one, here the fluid tissue, that is the blood, it circulates in tubes, which we know as the blood vessels. So example here is chordates and annelids. And in open, there is no confined blood vessels. The tissues directly bath in it. It is present in arthropoda, mollusca and echinodermata. Now, so this slide is very important. Questions are asked from respiration ki, uh, in which organisms, which type of respiration is present. You should know it very clearly. So first of all, we have body surface respiration. Body surface respiration means the name suggests through body surface. Example, small aquatic animals like hydra. Second is branchial respiration. It means by gills. Example, large aquatic organisms in like in fishes and prawns. Then pulmonary respiration. Name suggests pulmonary means lungs. That is example, we have a frog, lizard, birds and mammals. Fourth is tracheal respiration. Tracheal means by intercommunicating tubes. Okay. Example is insects. Buccopharyngeal respiration. That is by the lining. Which lining? Buccopharyngeal cavity. Example, frog. They also do by the help of skin and also by the help of this buccopharyngeal cavity. Then uh, in scorpions, we have book lungs and in king crab we have book gills these two points are very very important okay next we have digestion digestion is also of two types complete and incomplete name suggests complete means they have two opening mouth for ingestion of food and anus for excretion of food example there is round worm onwards we have the complete digestion means mouth and anus separately are present. In case of incomplete, they have only one opening for ingestion and in case of excretion also. Example, we have cylindrates and flat forms. In cylindrates, uh, like in previous diagrams, we have seen the diagram of hydra where only a single opening is present. Okay. So next. Now let's talk about excretion. So, in excretion, most aquatic animals have no excretory organ. No excretory organ means there is no means of excretion like some organs are not present in them. Like, in example, we have sponges and cylindrates. So, how do they excrete? So, they do excretion by the help of simple diffusion. There is no such organs present. This slide is very important because in your exam, they ask, the particular excretion organ present in that particular organism. For example, flame cells is present in flat worms, intracellular tubes in round worms, nephridia in annelids, malfagent tubules in insects, antennary and maxillary gland in crustaceans, and coxal gland in arcanids. And kidney is found in many mollusks and vertebrates. So, this is the mode of excretion in different organisms. After that, if we talk about nervous system, so there is no nervous system present in sponges. Uh, if we talk about sealant traits, so they consist of loose network of fibers which form the nerve cells from either sides of the mesothelia. In case of flat worms and round worms, there is nerve ring which is the anterior part of the gut and the nerve cords. 
annelids and arthropods they also have ring around the interior part of the gut and also the double mid ventral solid ganglionic nerve cord is also present the flat worms and round worms only have this nerve ring with nerve cords but here the double mid ventral solid and ganglionic nerve cord is present in case of mollusks there is a system of ganglia is present which is interconnected by commissures and connectives now in echinoderms they have oral and aboral nerve rings and radial nerves and vertebrates they have well defined brain after that segmentation segmentation means linear repetition of parts and body ki how the animal body is divided into segments it is not necessary that segment is present in every organism okay it occur in case of annelida arthropoda and chordates each segment here is known as metamere in annelids true metamerism is present theek hai in chordates segmentation is apparent but it is only found in embryonic stages so we can call it pseudo metamerism okay in adult chordates internal segmentation is present in vertebrates ribs and nerves then tapeworm tapeworm have pseudo segmentation yeah false segmentation thank you friends for watching our video please like share and subscribe our channel for more updates and you can also comment in down in our section for more content which you want thank you